Okay, y'all. I just wanted to kind of clear up some of the some of the things that I've begun to understand on these old short hood welders. Um, one of the big differences I noticed is there's three wires coming out of the generator housing up here. Okay, and on a on a red face or a black face, any other welder that I've experienced has the four small wires coming out of there. Okay, so what I think I've figured is. <clears throat> You have basically your excitation in here, so this is where you make 120 volts, and from that you have a negative wire coming up through the generator housing, and this is all flowing the opposite direction, right? Electricity flows positive to negative. So with that being said, we're kind of going upriver right now. So from there, we go into the outlet, um, if you can see there, and then from the outlet it goes to the rheostat. And then the rheostat just controls the power that's going into the second series, your, your, your generator housing, your shunt coils, okay? And then, so with that being said, the wiring goes from the outlet on the negative side to the rheostat. The rheostat then controls the power that comes and goes to, <clears throat> you have a three-way selector here for a remote. This is the rest of the generator housing wiring, okay? So we have, this is what's going into the gen housing, and that's why we have a rheostat controlling that. That controls the heat during your welding, okay? So when it's switched on or off is whether or not it's plugged into the outlet over here, your 120, so I would plug something in, I'd have my ditch box plugged in, and I can control whether that electrical flow goes through this rheostat or through the wiring that's here, all the way down the cable to the ditch box and then back. Everything just flows in series. Okay, so now I have another wire coming out of the housing, okay? And all that is, it's, it's my right brush holder. So <clears throat> when I said it's all wired in series on the short hoods, there's only three wires. You have two of them coming off of your positive brush holder. One ends up going into the shunt coils in the generator which in turn goes to the other shunt coil and back out and that's what the rheostat's controlling over there but then the other is your positive so this just helps to complete the whole circuit of your outlet so with your positive here it comes out this is a positive and it it ties into the idler board okay so it goes through the two sections of the idler board and then it goes back down into the outlet it just goes through the idler board so it detects whenever you're running your grinder <clears throat> and that in a nutshell is more or less the wiring on these old short hoods or what I've what I've come to figure of it at least so hope that helps anybody